Hey guys, welcome to our third example in our Bayesian Nash equilibrium practice where we discuss pure strategies. Here we're going to deal with a little bit more of a complicated sort of game. So let's go. So in this situation, no one is certain about what game is going to be played, but we know that there's an equal probability that the game will be one of the two below. So we have, you know, two different uh, sort of scenarios here, and we're asked to find all pure strategy Nash equilibrium. So the way we're going to go and solve this problem is we're going to follow the following procedure. First and foremost, I think it's really important that you have to write the dimensions of this game as a collapsed incomplete information matrix, meaning that we're going to write this Bayesian game as we would one big uh, strategic form game or what we'd call a normal form game. Uh, step number two is that we're going to fill in the payoffs according to an expected value. Uh, in this case, we're just going to take a average between the two uh, payoffs in each cell of you know each of the sort of games. And the reason why we're able to go and just take an average because we give a 50% chance of each uh, mate, each you know out type of game being played as given by nature. Um, if the probabilities were different, we'd go and have a little bit more of a weighted average. And step number three is that we're going to use a tick and bob method to go and find all the pure strategy Bayesian Nash equilibria. So this is step number one is that we're going to go and write our matrix. So again, AA over here is that I'm going to play A if if it's if it's scenario one and a if it's scenario two. I mean, I have two different A's, so I was just talking about the capital A's over here. And our column over here is gonna be lowercase a if it's scenario one, and lowercase a if it's scenario two. So it's these are could be read as contingent plans here. Now let's go and fill in those payoffs by going and plugging in each one of these numbers as our conditional expectations for each one of these. So here we have our second step where we're just going and filling in each one of these values as given by our conditional expectation. Uh, this is just, you know, what our um, average payoff is in each scenario there. So now we're going to go and solve this using a tick and bob sort of method. So let's first consider if our column player is committed to playing a a here, lowercase a here. What would our rows player's best response would be? Our row player's best response, uh, that would go and be A, B. Moving on now uh, for our next move, uh, what about what if our column player is committing to, to go and play A, B here? So in this context, we're just going to go and scan through, you know, all our column options here, and we find that a, B again, capital A, capital B is our best option. Now let's go and consider if our player is, our column player is committed to B, A. And we're just going to go and follow this process through. I'm not going to go and speak it out anymore. Now let's look at B, B, lowercase B, lowercase B. What would our uh, rose player's best response would be? It would probably be um, B, B here. That's something that would be good. Now let's go and look at our column player's perspective. Uh, if if uh, we're committing to AA, uh, our column player is, you know, he's indifferent or really, whoops, that's, let's just go and get rid of that there. That's not the right one. It would be uh, BA. That would be something that he would like to go and pick. Uh, let's now say if it's AB, what would be the best option for him? So it's either going to be this one here or BB here. Uh, moving forward, let's say he's committed to capital B, capital A. Um, the best response for our column player would be AA here. Um, and let's say if it's BB, and let's go and look at all of our options here, and we only see that again, it is AA. So we note that there is actually only one uh, Bayesian Nash equilibrium here, right? And that is where uh, it's capital A, capital B, and AA. So that there is our Bayesian Nash equilibrium.
And the way that we would go and formally write this is uh, our pure strategy Bayesian Nash equilibrium is A, B, A, A. So that's how we go and solve this problem here. Uh, I hope these videos help. Let me know if there are any mistakes. Take care.